as you can see, we are sans Matt. I hate when people say sans something. Yeah, sans Sarah. Sans silly. When they got rid of the desert, there's like sans sans. <laughs> so, Matt isn't here, but we went and saw the Raven. Yep. Is it the Raven or just Raven? Is the, the Raven? Raven. Right? Okay. Is that the name of his poem, the Raven? Yeah. Wait. I can't. I can't ever remember that. Never more. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Well, well, the Raven. What I want to say is, remember how I, in our review or our <laughs> expectations, I made the joke about Edgar Allan Poe po being Poe. Yeah, you stole that from the movie. No, the movie. Like the first fucking line of the movie is, no, not Poe. Poe. Like, <laughs> let's talk about the Raven. Oh, <laughs> I'll just dub that over. Let's talk about the Raven, Drews. Okay. How to enjoy it? Remember. All right, I think to enjoy this, I you know it's let's get let's get to what it is. It's a very typical, nothing extraordinary, murder mystery. Um, you know, nothing to make it stand out at all. Yeah, it's very... don't don't go in thinking what a great idea. <clears throat> this is gonna be good, right? Because it, it's good if you take out that it's Poe. Really, I mean, they totally didn't use him at all. It's yeah. not going to be clever. It's not clever. Not at all. Yeah. Nothing. There's tons of stuff that doesn't make sense in the movie. Like character motivation and plot points. Lots of stuff doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, you just got to kind of go with the flow. Yeah. The, uh, be you loose. Know, the surprise. I got under a, Underwhelming. I got a funny story about that. Okay, so the killer the killer's revealed and he goes, the killer's like, Surprised, and someone behind me goes, "No!" <laughs> it's so funny. Everybody's laughing. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the movie. Well, it's in the beginning. I was like, "Man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be like a cheesy." It's got like, they're they're supposed to be Maryland. Where are they supposed to be? Boston. I have no idea. Somewhere in America, and like everyone's accents are really weird. Like some of the, they look like they're in London, and then like. The newspaper guy at the... Oh, it was Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. The newspaper guy at Baltimore is like a New York, like, We need more stories, Paul! People like blood! And, like, the inspector guy, who... He's just a ter like, terrible, <laughs> terrible actor. And it sets up, like, Poe's in a bar, and he's, you know, on the ropes. He's And he's, like, doing all these pontifications of, like, insults. He's like, you my stupid old maggot handbag! And yeah. it's like, I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be so bad, it's gonna be good. But then, it turns into this murder mystery thing, and it's really gruesome. Yeah, it is really gruesome. I was surprised by that. Yeah, the, the gruesome is like Saw. It's like worse than Saw. Was it gonna be in 3D? Because some <laughs> stuff, like, looks like it was gonna be 3D. Like, some bullets come know. at you and stuff. That's what I've heard, yeah, they had a couple of those. It's like they completely thought Completely out of place shots. I know, that's of what I mean. bullets coming out of the barrel, like... Yeah, that's the and it totally what? missed him anyways. Why did they have to show the bullet? And I think it was because it was gonna be three D at one point, or maybe they battled that, or because there's a couple three D looking shots gore. But anyways, and I really enjoyed the first part of the movie. I'm like, oh man, this is good. This is so bad. It's good. And then it kind of turns into gruesome, serious. No, there's no more jokes, you know. And it had the reason it was difficult to enjoy is because you you think Poe. He's this really cool character, you know, and they could have done a lot. It was, he's at the end of his life, so he's, like, depressed, you know, mm -hmm. addicted to alcohol and drugs and everything. And in the movie, that has no, no relevance, like, no... Relevance? Is that a word? Relevance. Relevance. He has no relevance. That has no relevance. Like, he's not succeeding or failing due to his drugs. He's not succeeding at solving the crimes because he knows the killer. He's just as much a doofus as the rest of them, or as apt as the rest of them. Like, the rest of the characters, they all take turns. He's not super creative. He's not super smart. Yeah. Yet he's not depressed. He's not... I mean, not, nothing. It's like a way, way, way dumbed down, way bad version of the, the new Sherlock Holmes movies. That's a perfect... That's a perfect example. I mean, he's... I mean, he's... Yeah, pretty... He's like a, a worse Sherlock Holmes and not as... He's an uninteresting... Yeah, an uninteresting... Sherlock Holmes. And... But it... There are parts that are so so bad that it's kind of fun. I, I wish I would have seen it with somebody like to make fun of it with. That would have been fun, like you know, like you or Garth or Matt or somebody, you know, 
but it's if you can enjoy it, it's nice to see John Cusack again. Yeah, and I don't think that John Cus- John Cusack did a pretty good job in the movie. Um, a bearable job. I mean, yeah, I, I liked him okay in it. There were some pretty atrocious actors in it. The Inspector. Oh my God, that's was worth horrible it, to see in it. it. So that was fun to watch. Yeah. There's, I mean, there is some cool gore. The gore's done well. So if you if you like that kind of stuff, I thought it was done pretty well in the movie. There there are like cool little elements in courts like. Poe has a pet raccoon for some reason, and like he's like petting it, and like the raccoon, like you're, you're like, man, should that guy be, should John Cusack be petting the raccoons, like, <laughs> like about to like rabies his ass, and then he throws him a human heart and he eats the <laughs> human heart. What the hell, man? But there was one line that I liked. Um, a guy gets killed by a pendulum because the killer is reenacting Poe's crimes. Blah, blah, blah. And Poe comes in and he's like shocked by it and he's like, oh, I didn't imagine the the counterweight to be so big. And like you thought, oh, maybe he'll really get into these killings and he'll feel bad or he'll feel guilt. But no, that was it. That was just throwaway line. The end credits are awesome though. The, really? Yeah, there's like glass shattering and See, I didn't like those either. Because I thought it was cool. They just seemed really weird and out of place. They like in the rock song that was going with they were them. They totally like, out of place. It just didn't make sense with the, I mean, maybe they're cool on their own, but. Yeah, it was cool on its own and. Um, another thing is, like, you think, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe goth people will really like this, but there's nothing for them to really <laughs> like, I mean, because the, the heroine is, you know, fair-skinned beauty, blonde hair, but there's some great lines that are so terrible, they're great, like, someone writing, trying to write for Poe, it's like, you slaughtering, slithering, yeah. wakus, like, just totally wacky shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's a period piece, but they don't give a fuck. They're like obsession of cuss, but they're just like all over the place. Like sometimes they have an accent, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it, I don't know. It's weird, man. But oh, one thing I would like to say, and this might be a good way to enjoy it, is really put yourself back then in that time. Like one of the first scenes, they go into this dark room where someone locks the door and they're killing somebody, and then they go in to investigate, but they can't see. You know, they don't have flashlights. They have torches. Yeah. Like, I would just throw the torch in the room and let it burn a little, like, get some light. I wouldn't go in there. They'd be like, Inspector, you're burning the floor. I'd be like, I don't care. I'm not going in there. Can't see shit. <laughs> I mean, I would wait till morning. I'd be like, this is way till morning. Can't see anything in there. So. I mean, that doesn't really have much to do with back then. I, I mean, that's the same today, right? There could be no power. You got your flashlight. I mean, you got people's your phones. stuff are running. They had to do that like every and res- night and rescue people. <laughs> every night, that I mean, was firemen dark. run into burning buildings and rescue. Yeah, people but they today. can see because there's fire, <laughs> smoke. Yeah, but like, yeah, just man, woo, yikes. Yeah, it's a bad marriage of Saw and Sherlock Holmes. So <laughs> it is. That's like go and expecting that, and you'll get that. <laughs> if that's something you think sounds good. Enjoy it. Alright. Thanks for watching.